Well, pretty seasonable January day across the area. Temperatures got near our average of 41 degrees of the Beckley area. A little bit of a chilly start, but we've had cooler mornings in the previous days, and we will have cooler mornings heading throughout the rest of the week. Temperatures are in the 30s to 40 degrees still at this uh, 6 o'clock hour. That means any precipitation we see, if it's in the form of snow, it's likely not immediately going to stick. And it may even be in the form of rain. We're seeing some of those showers out towards the Huntington area. They're going to move off to the uh, off to the east towards our area as they do, bringing with it some light rain and some light snow as well. Nothing heavy from either of that, though. We'll initially start off with some rain switching and mixing with snow heading overnight. But notice the temperatures 5 a.m. light snow at 35 degrees out of the Beckley area. That snow is still working to cool the air meaning that at the surface, it's not going to stick that well. Uh, by the time we get to mid morning, still dealing with some flurries, but we're not really expecting much of any accumulation besides maybe a coating to maybe an inch in portions of the area. Up near Snowshoe, that's where we may see a couple inches, three to four inches up near the Snowshoe area. So good news for anyone heading up to Snowshoe this week. There's going to be some fresh powder on the ground. This winter weather advisory is in effect until tomorrow at 7 a.m. The rest of the week actually looks pretty calm across the area. That is until we get to Friday. We're watching another system. That one could bring a little more snow uh, than tonight. That being said, the models are still working out some issues with that system, so we'll continue to track that as we head towards the end of the week. The next 48 hours continue to look fairly calm besides that snow tonight. Again, temperatures are going to cool as that snow comes in, so immediately it will have trouble sticking, and we'll actually see some of that rain, especially through Fayette, down through the Raleigh County area and the coal fields, as well as the Greenbrier Valley. It switches to all snow, but by the time we hit that mid-morning time frame, we're struggling to still see that snow. We'll likely still see some very light flurries, but by the end of the morning, we're in the clear. We're just dealing with some clouds into the afternoon. Temperatures fall throughout the day behind this clipper system. It will be a cool start heading into Wednesday, and then as we head into uh, as we head into Wednesday morning, we will continue to see those wind chills as well. Five below zero near Snowshoe, one below zero in Raynell, and in the single digits is what it will feel like Wednesday morning. So that cold air continuing to come back with vengeance as we head into our second half of the week. If you're looking for some warmer weather, February looks to be okay across the east. Warmer than average temperatures looking to be the norm across the area. And I know a lot of people have felt that this has been a cold month. We kind of had a very warm December. That jet stream has really retreated south over our area, meaning the entire eastern portion of the country is just in this blocking pattern. We're going to continue to see these waves of low pressure, bringing wintry weather with them as we head into really the weekend and even into the beginning of next week. But check out what happens the end of next week. Look at this bump in the jet stream. The jet stream retreats to the north with that colder weather at least for a brief time to start off the month of February and we'll actually go back to feeling what we felt during December it potentially looks like as we go into the beginning of February. So if those of you are looking for maybe some warmer conditions, hold out for another 7 to 10 days. It looks like we'll get there. Temperatures until then though still feeling much like the dead of winter. We'll be back after this.